We are halfway through the Elite Four. Hello everyone, I'm King Bombid and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y. In the last episode, we started our Elite Four challenge and took on Mal um, Malva, the fire um, trainer, and Draggy, I've forgotten her name, uh, the cute little old lady who was the dragon trainer. And in this episode, we're going to take this path, this one. We're going to do the last two now. This is the Ironwork Chamber, Steel type. So this is Reposus. Reposus all the way. And then maybe Sharp Tooth if we're feeling a little bit adventurous. But more often than not, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be Reposus. So here we go, Steel types. Another really easy type to take care of. I'm take doing the hardest one last, as you can imagine. The one I'm gonna have the most trouble with last. I have to say, the startups for all the Elite Fours, like in this game, are incredibly epic. So we step forward, before we even get there, he comes down to meet us. Well met, young challenger. Very, verily am I, the Elite Four's famed blade of hardened steel, Wilkstrom. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard! Wilkstrom. Wilkstrom wants to battle. Starts off with Clefki! I am not the Pokemon I expected a knight to have, but okay, Clefki. Steel Fairy type. Um, flamethrower. Duh. Spikes. Okay, it starts off by putting out entry hazards. So hopefully, Reposus can take this all out without going anywhere. So. One down, two, one down, three to go. Proto Pass. Or Provo Pass. Um, steel Rock type. Flamethrower. Power gem, that's gonna hurt. Ow. I didn't want to side shock. Crap. Oh well. I was gonna. Yeah, side shock didn't do anything. Oh well. Repose this, you tried. I'm gonna heal you so you can get back in, but. Sharp tooth. Ouch on the spikes. Earthquake. That's you taken care of. In fact, no, I'm going to keep you out. Age of Slash. So you have an Age of Slash as well. This is what I expect a knight to have. Earthquake. Stance change. Iron Head. Okay, um, this is not going as well as I'd hoped, but Vorpal. Let us Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak. One hit, awesome. Vorpal grows level 59. Scizor. Um, I'm going to keep Vorpal out. Let's see. Well, I got to heal. I got to heal. That's the main thing. Revive. Reposus. Yeah, saw that happening. Reposus, it's up to you. Again. <laughs> Reposus, it's quad weak to you. Flamethrower, be faster. Yes! And we have done it. Elite four number three, taken out.
glorious. The trust that you share with your honorable Pokemon surpasses even mine. What now? What sweet, glorious, paid and joy is rock my now rock my mighty heart? My will, which even shaken spear shake spears tremble as so fine a battle as this, I am undone. Good sir, you are indeed our equal and worthy to enter this lofty hall. If your heart prepared for this, one last wall appears before you. You would do well to remember. Defeat us, and you will face the champion in battle. Yes, I am aware. That's sort of how Elite Four, the Elite Fours and Pokemon games work. But anyway, off we go to the final Elite Four member. Which, I don't have a sufficient Pokemon to deal with. So this battle is going to be... This is the battle that I bought all of these revives for. <laughs> I can see myself switching Pokemon every turn, like trying to like figure out which one is going to battle it the best, which one's going to succeed, I don't know. I know Reposus isn't going to be very good for this one, but that's because of his type. Um, it's just a case of trying to think of which one. So, Whew. let's do this. Oh, I went too far. The flood chamber. Water. Water is our foe here. Up we go. Our final challenge of the Elite Four lies ahead. That was pretty epic. But this is the last member of the Elite Four. And I'm going to start off with Cosmo out in front. I am not going to enjoy this. No. I simply can't say. You there, young man. I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can even be worthy of being called an art? Yes, yes it can. Indeed. You see, cooking is the type is a type of is the type of art that disappears as soon as it is completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories and sweet victory of sweet victory fa soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life, made up of fleeting experiences, that is truly artful. Finally, for member, Sibold. Starts off with Chloritza, which is a pure water type, I think. I'm pretty sure it's pure water, but again... I don't have Pokemon. The only Pokemon that has an attack which is sufficiently good against it is Reposus. And Reposus is a last resort for this. So I am just going to risk it and try and battle as best as I can. Of course, as soon as they, this one does Water Pulse, it gets the first um, like hit on me ever. Moonblast. Come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Oh, you're gonna heal. I can just tell. Yep, full restore. This is the only member of the Elite Four I was worried about because I knew I knew there was one Water Trainer and he was hard. And this is the hard. It would be hard for my team. And this is the hardest battle we're gonna have to face in this game. Don't hit yourself. Yay, Cosmo. 
you're super lucky. Another one should do. Of course, he full restores. So he's wasted his full restores on his Chloritzer. And we hit ourselves for the first time. Confusion should subside. There we go. Yeah, we're Cosmo's gone. Cosmo's not surviving this. Well, we tried. Well done, Cosmo. Good effort. Okay, now Savage. Savage, high jump kick. Floritz is gone. Okay. Next up, Starmy. Vorpal. Starmy, water and psychic. We are going to use Night Slash. Use a Surf. Does decent enough damage, but we stance change. Night Slash. Another Night Slash should do it. Surf, this is going to hurt me a lot. Oh, it killed me. Okay. Um. Sharp Tooth. Because you have Crunch. Crunch. Dazzling Gleam. This is going to kill it. This is going to kill it. <laughs> Sharp Tooth. You rock. Sharp Tooth grew level 58. That's what I like to see. Must learn Head Smash. Rock type move. Ooh. If I... No, I'm not going to learn that. Um, I think Earthquake's a much better move anyway. I know that gets Stab, but... Gyarados. Well, that would have been a good thing to use against Gyarados, but... Oh, well. Um, stay out and crunch it. Also, take that... Um, Intimidate. Earthquake. Okay, that's uh, Sharp Tooth gone. Gamera. Mega Revolve. Ice Beam. Come on, Earthquake, this is going to hurt. Okay, no, it didn't. Ice Beam. This is going to be one of those battles, isn't it? Dragon Dance. Ice Beam. Another Ice Beam. That was a critical hit. One more. Earthquake. Hold on, Gamera. Gamera? That was awesome. Gyarados is out. One last Pokemon. And his last team member. Well, level 59 on Gamera. His last Pokemon. B Barbacol. Keeping you in. Water Rock. Uh, let's see how much Surf does. I don't think it's going to do very much, considering it's a water type as well. It didn't do too badly. Reposus is going to get used now because it has the grass type move. If not, I could use Savage because it's a rock type. But I want to see if Reposus can do it with or kill it with Grass Knot. That's why I taught it. And it does. Reposus did it. 
I shall store my memory of you and your Pokemon forever away within my heart. Devote yourself entirely so that even even that which will fade will dis and disappear is ingrained forever up upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate of any human. You have drawn forth the strength of your Pokemon and your own particular style and method. And now you can challenge the champion. Yes, we can. Now, if we head back. The gate opens. Through there is the champion. And we will fight her. We'll fight the champion because we know it's a girl. We'll fight her in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y. So if you liked what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm King Bombeard, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>